Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about this award that Megan has uh, received. Uh, I think she's probably received this by now, uh, I believe. Um, and my thoughts and opinions on this, and I'm going to add a little bit of something extra in regards to something that I also noticed uh, with her little hike. And I kind of want to talk about that a little bit more. Um, I also, this week, will be doing a video on this court case with Harry and these leaked emails that he has given to the court. Um, so I will be doing a video on that this week. So please make sure that you check your subscribe button so you do not miss out on these videos. Um, don't forget to give this a like if you enjoy the video. Um, and yeah, that being said, you should know what to do by now. Grab your drink of choice, whether it be tea, whether it be coffee, whether it be um, a cappuccino, whether it is a diet lemonade, which I think in the States you have Sprite. Well, we have that here too, but I don't think you have lemonade. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I don't think you have lemonade in the States. Um or maybe you would like to add a little something, something to that drink of choice, because as the flag says behind me, which you can't see, um, it's five o'clock somewhere. So grab a drink and let's dive right in. So, Firstly, I want to talk a little bit about this hike that happened um, around the coronation because I saw lots of your comments um, and I did put up pictures where it looked like she was cosplaying Diana again. Um, but I noticed I just happened to just kind of do a little bit more into this and I was thinking of other people that she's um, done the same to. Um, and I found this. So check this out. And she's done her before, um, Angelina Jolie. Um, but it just looked very similar to me as well. So, and I know this could be a reach, but we know with narcissists that they have no sense of their own identity. They tend to mirror and people that they're very, very envious of. So we've seen her copy Catherine, we have seen her uh, copy Diana, we have seen her copy Angelina Jolie, but it seems a bit strange that this was obviously released um, quite recently, even though they didn't make headline news. Um, and obviously she's not splashed in thousands and thousands or of dollars uh, of jewellery. But yeah, I just found it very, very interesting. And as you know, I like to read between the lines. Um, given my background in being a psychotherapist it's given me the tools to really look at like body language behavior um the things that people don't say within something they say um and what i found very interesting with the timing of this particular stroll because let's face it, it was a stroll it wasn't a hike um like people have said you know there's no children. Why would you not take, and obviously you know my thoughts and opinions on these children, but say for argument's sake, like the media is is, is trying to uh, portray, why have the media not picked up on the fact that the day after the coronation, and this might have even happened on the day, but the day after the coronation, and it's supposedly Archie's birthday, that Harry didn't go back to Montecito. He was, uh, apparently he was spotted in San Francisco, albeit that I said about the polo. Now, okay, he's not been seen at the polo match, and some people have said, was he kicked out of there? Well, I checked on their Instagram, and there's pictures of Harry still up there. Now, of course, they could be using this as advertising. I don't know. However, so the media haven't picked up on that. There are no pictures whatsoever in regards to um, this alleged birthday party. Um, but then not only that, the very next day she comes out 
and is pictured walking around with none other than Marcus Anderson. Now, what's interesting to me is this seems to correlate with the fact that all of a sudden, Harry is talking about his ex and in quite graphic detail to the point where he states that he believes if the media hadn't intervened and had, there was not media intrusion, they'd still be together. Now, trust me when I say this, a happily married man, especially given the fact that it's public, a happily married man does not say things like this. Um, you know, a healthy happily married man, because let's be honest, you know, you're doing things like that to create someone either to be jealous or the fact that you are so unhappy within your relationship that you're in or your life in general that you start to reminisce about happier times and the happier time of the person that you were with before. So what I think is potentially happening is that, like we've seen before with Harry is I think he forgets that some of these things are going to be public. So, well, it's one of two things. He forgets and he just blurs out, kind of has no filter. Um, so he just speaks, has whatever comes into his brain um, without remembering that the media will... Um, a little bit of runny nose then. Um, so without realise, forgetting the fact that the media are going to pick up on this or what I'm inclined to believe is that childishly... Um, he knows that him and Meghan are falling apart because there's certainly been rumours circulating of the two of them not getting along. I mean, well, this has been happening for a while now, hasn't it? But the media are starting to pick up on there's problems in the relationship. So I'm also thinking that this is him childishly um, almost trying to make Meghan jealous, re not realising that Megan doesn't really care about him. She just cares about what he provides. So it's interesting then to me that all of a sudden she pops up with Marcus Anderson. Now, back in Soho House, this is when those two got together. And Marcus Anderson was a big part of that. So I believe she's reeled him out so Harry sees it. I said that this was a, a dig at the royal family. And I do think there is this kind of like, I'm not bothered attitude to her, albeit that she is. When, when people say that, they tend to be bothered. Um, but I actually now believe that this was in conjunction with Harry coming out and saying this about Chelsea Davy, And I think that she's gone out there because she's not ready to let him go yet. Um, the only time that will happen is when she has secured somebody else. And people have said to me, who do you think that's going to be? Who would who would want somebody like Megan? Well, I can tell you now it will be somebody that A, doesn't give a, uh, a, 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 a crap about the royal family. So probably someone who's very anti-monarchy, anti-establishment, so to speak. Um, and somebody a lot older that will probably with money, a billionaire even, that will buy into her victim story of the mean royal family. And she's had to deal with Harry's drug taking and and he's been unfaithful and things like this. And also what circulated, I noticed, which has regurgitated itself, is the fact that apparently Meghan had an affair with a bodyguard. So this is coming out as well. So all of these stories that are starting to circulate um, I think that she's purposely gone out there with Marcus Anderson because I believe between the two of them, they've potentially got some information on Harry. Now, this could be to do with uh, sexual exploits. Perhaps they've all got together, if you know what I mean, read between the lines. Um, and I think this is Megan, in a way, saying to Harry, I own you. Don't you forget that. I've got information on you. Because then all of a sudden, we see them out together on a date night, apparently. Again, they're out with no, no children. But also as well, people have said that, well, where are the dogs? Where are the dogs? She's out hiking. Why would she not take the dogs? Because we know this was a stage set up. This was purposely done, I believe, to reel Harry back in again. So then we would have the like the hoovering back in again, the love boy again. So Harry will probably then think that she is jealous and she wants him back. And but she's sitting there kind of going, oh, I'm not ready to give up on you yet. You know, there's still things that can be done. 
um, you know, especially given the fact that, as I will be talking about in a minute, this award that's going to be happening where she has basically said that she wants her title to be spoken. Um, so she's not just Meghan Markle. She's Meghan Markle. Um, so I think this was purposeful. As I've said before, everything a narcissist does is with an agenda. When people like in some of the comments, people like, you know, I can't believe that she would do this or I can't believe she would do that. A lot of that is because you're not a narcissist. It is very difficult to put your your headspace in the mindset of a narcissist. So it's something that you would never do. Well, believe you me, a narcissist would. They will do things that are immoral, illegal. If they can get away with it, they would. And you've got to also think that she is in a position of power, so to speak, more so than what normal average people are you know she's a member of the royal family and I do believe things are being covered up and so she probably thinks she's kind of untouchable which let's be honest at the moment it does kind of look that way anyway so the more and this is where in a way a, a narcissist will trip themselves up because the more they get away with the more their ego takes over and they will carry on doing things to in the end they will actually do something and they'll get caught out now the, the the problem you have here is that they are being caught out for lies and things like that, but nothing's really being done about it. Um, so let me know what you think about that. Do you think that this was a kind of like purposely done in regards to her? Do you think this was in almost retaliation for what he said about Chelsea? And like I said, I do believe that Chelsea is the one that got away. The unfortunate thing with Harry is he never takes responsibility. He absolutely blames everybody and everything for the breakdown of everything. Um, he doesn't actually look at his own behaviour because apparently, I think from what I remember at the around the time, Chelsea said that he was very neurotic, paranoid, um, which I understand. But that creates behaviour which you have to acknowledge. And I think for her, it probably got too much because at the end of the day, she got into a relationship with him. She knew, in a sense, she probably didn't exactly guarantee or you know bank on what the how the media was going to be but she was with him what six years so you can't tell me in that six years that she didn't quite understand the level um of the media and, and things like that what I would probably guess is that she would be willing to put up with it to a degree but it was Harry's um neuroses and paranoia and probably temper tantrums and being a sulky brat and, you know, and things like this. I think his moods and everything else would probably create her to get sick of it. Because a lot of the time, especially if you're a nice person, you do put up with things. You almost try to make it better. You appease them and, and do those things. And it probably got to a point where she was like, do you know what? I I could deal with the, the press intrusion, so to speak, if you were a decent human being, but you're not. And so it probably got to a point where she was like, I can't deal with the drama. I can't deal with the fact that this is you know, this is horrendous. So that is what I think potentially happened. So that leads me then. So like I say, let me know what you think in the comments in regards to this, that, that particular thing. Um, this leads me on to <laughs> this award. Oh gosh. Honestly, um, for a start, it's given by Gloria Steinem, who they're besties because they use each other let's be honest because Gloria Steinem isn't very relevant anymore so she's using the relationship it's, it's literally like you scratch my back I'll scratch yours so this award um fake award should I say um has been given to um Megan but what's interesting is she's not the only person awesome. there are other people that have won these awards but do they get a mention no you, the way that the media have portrayed this as if the only person that's actually won this award was Megan but actually there is and I I'm going to pronounce these wrong some of these names so there's Latasha Brown who um She's an award-winning visionary throughout, uh, throughout, thought leader, institution builder, cultural activist and artist. She is nationally recognised as a go-to expert in black voting rights and voters suppression, black women empowerment and philanthropy. And she's done various, various things. So she's the first one. Obviously, Megan gets top billing. Um, Wanda Irving. Wanda Irving, MPA, is forever the mother of Dr. Shalon Irving and co-founder of Dr. Shalon's Maternal Action Project. She's a community-driven non-profit organization dedicated to 
um, alleviating black maternal health disparities and again lots of other things she's been she's been very busy in 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 that area then we have Kimberly Inez Maguire Kimberly is a national nationally recognized campaign and communication strategist um, reproductive justice movement leader and policy expert with two decades of experience creating and implementing winning strategies to reshape the public narrative and policy landscape with surrounding women and the LGBT community. Um, we also have Olivia Juliana. Olivia Juliana is an abortion rights activist from Houston, Texas, who currently serves as the director of politics. Again, someone that she's raised a lot of millions in uh, funding. And then we have this young lady, Rebecca Bruges Hoff. 16 year old author and activist who's passionate about authenticity and inclusion and she's done lots of talks and for such a young age I mean t t it's possibly that she's going to be like another Greta Thunberg type person but it, I mean regardless anyway so there are other people that have won this award and throughout the years there have been plenty of other people that have also won this award Hillary Clinton being one there's been other uh, 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 Maxine somebody the member of Congress you know so there's been a lot of women that have won this award but I don't recall ever really seeing them being mentioned but again it's interesting how this again is all about Megan again and I'd imagine that she's probably said you know do you know I will accept this award if you just only talk about me so what's also interesting is apparently I've been sent information, but this was a bought award because apparently the, the ticket sales for the NYC gala was awful. Nobody was really interested. Um, probably the only people that were into were people connected to the people that won the award, but they were not selling. So all of a sudden up pops Megan. And so what I do think it's, I'll give you, and it was five hundred dollars, five hundred, no, five hundred thousand dollars. Um, so now we know where Merchie Wells funding um, and the, all the money that they get seems to go to buy these awards. Um, but it seems to be connected to people that they know. There isn't really anyone random. It's like that 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 actually recognizes that that she's a philanthropist. Philanthropist. Um, so. Yeah, again, she buys her way in to an award. And again, the media, I, I actually am now of the opinion that, and I'm not talking about certain people because I think people, some people do their research, um, but the mainstream um, like newspapers, et cetera, I, I actually don't think they do any research anymore. I really, really don't. It's it's almost as if they're presented with something. They're probably given money to put this out there and they go, OK, then, yeah, we'll do that. Because if they'd have done their research, they would have found out that she actually paid for this award and it's not actually given. And also the fact that, like I say, she is connected to Gloria Steinman and they both, in a way, scratch each other's back um, to help each other. They're both pretty irrelevant people. But what has she done? What actually has she done that she's not done for more than five minutes where she's rocked up somewhere, spent five minutes and then gone, yep, job done. That's, that's me done. Thanks very much. This whole thing. And I will, Rich, you know what? I, I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to traumatize you now. <laughs> it's not very good as a therapist, is it? But let's just have a look at what they say about Megan. <laughs> Right. Of course, it's Megan the Dutch. In the um, is a feminist. A champion of human rights and gender equality. Mm. Gender equality. Let's look at that. I don't think that's quite true, is it? Um, a global, a global role model. She's a global role model. Hands up, all countries that believe Megan is a global role model. Hands up. Anyone? Anyone? No. Her lifelong advocacy for women and girls remains a constant thread. I, I swear she wrote this. Um, she weaves through both humanitarian and business ventures. She has served as a UN women's advocate for... Again, why did they have to embellish 
it's it's literally like she it wasn't even a real sp speaking part at UN women that you know Emma Watson had that role she was literally in one of the back rooms having a little giving it a little go um uh where where am I've lost my lost my train of thought now she yeah she has served as UN for women's political participation and leadership a world vision global ambassador and a leading counsellor to one young world a leading counsellor i'm sorry when did she get her qualification when did that happen because i must admit oh is she talking about the online one that she did for five minutes that she encouraged everyone else to do around the pandemic leading counsellor to one young world she did one interview with them i bet young <laughs> one young world haven't heard from her since because she used them she and, and her husband, Prince Harry, founded the Archerwell Foundation, got to get that in, in 2020 to support communities in need at a micro and macro level. Honestly, the, the, what, what, what? In both moments of crisis, as well as for long-term aid. Mm. I wonder how many they actually helped. Again, they don't do for five minutes. And I wonder how many have had continued help. Um, in 2022, Megan launched, launched Archetypes, a record-breaking podcast exploring the labels. I'm surprised I haven't used the word tropes because that seems to be one of her favourites that try to hold women back. Wasn't that great, really? Because, like I said, the only reason it was popular was because the world and his wife wanted to watch to see what car crash was going to happen. Um, journalists were watching, people that were reporting on YouTube. I don't want to include myself in that because I didn't watch any of it. Um, but people were just, and like I say, the fan bases of the people that she was interviewing also went in there. So if she was so great, then why is it that anything else they've ever done just flounders when she did that 4040 initiative, which she copied off the Obamas? Um, why did that flounder? Nobody signed up for it. I think about well I don't know but I think I think there was like 10 15 people signed up for it um nobody nobody was interested she is a she is a New York Times best-selling author with the bench yeah okay Megan is also a passionate advocate for family rights <laughs> well you might just saying you might want to look out for your own family first and your husband's family um because you keep smashing all over their rights and <laughs> and an investor in dynamic female founded companies uh like what she and her husband prince harry the duke of sussex got to get that in again um have also been the recipients of the n n n a a c p president's award as well as the but they haven't mention what that award was for for tackling institutional racism within the royal family you know the one where they said no we never said that but we collected an award for it um megan is noted as one of the most powerful and influential women in the world topping lists as such as time magazine's most influential people which they bought um the financial times 25 most influential women which they bought Variety, Power of Women and British Vogue, 2025, which I've probably bought all of that as well. Megan resides in California with her husband, their children and their three dogs. <coughs> Lies. <laughs> Say there, yeah. I, yeah. Wow. I, I honestly just think that, um, and again, you know, it's all about her, all about what she can utilise. And like I say, this is absolutely a paid for gig in a sense. Um, let me just go to this. And also, this is a 2023 award. Why not at the end of the year? Because we're only at the beginning of the year. So why not at the April? There's, I'm sure. And, and, and you know what? There are so many other worthwhile charities out there smaller charities that get zero recognition and this is why when people their fan base go on about how little the royal family do over here in the uk because they know absolutely nothing it's the fact that the royal family highlight these small charities things and they bring so much um attention to to, to things that have done you know that, that might not get that attention and this is what harry and Meghan could be doing 
if they weren't so self-serving over there because there are so many so many people that do so much work that don't do it for validation that don't do it for money that don't do it for the clicks of fame that that she does or even harry does and um, they are so worthwhile to be noticed and why not give one of those people an award to really highlight something that they do in the smaller communities Harry and Meghan, if they were decent people, could, you know, if they'd have wanted to leave, say, the UK, they could have gone over there and they could have literally done so much humanitarian work behind the scenes. We didn't really need to know about it. But then if they wanted to highlight something, they could have done that. But everything they do is about them. This isn't, that's not being humanitarian. That's not philanthropy. That's not, that's self-serving. Something the royal family are not. And that's the difference. And it frustrates me that, again, the media just do this thing where they they just ham it up like it like she's so important. And all the time they keep doing that. It, it She won't stop. And it's just, you know, all this th misinformation <clears throat> that Harry bangs on about. Well, no offense, but start with yourselves. Because you put out so much misinformation. That bio that, that was about her, misinformation. You know, and apparently on their own uh, Merchiwell website, she's put herself down as, let me just uh, check this. She's put herself down as woman of the millennium. So apparently I think there was a voting thing where people could vote or something. I think I believe again, not checked it because I won't go on their website. But this is what I've been sent um, that there is woman of the millennium. But sources have said that actually she has fired some of her co-workers, co -workers, some of her staff because there were discrepancies. And let me just get this right, that she counted the ballots herself. It wasn't even close and it seems employees were fired after handwriting analysis disclosed how the votes were done. So she's probably there. Put myself as me there and I'm going to add that one in and then I'll just put myself as me again. Add that one in. It's probably a five friends I probably voted for and bots and and that's probably where the ticket sales are, you know, <laughs> haven't done so well because it's like she can bring her five friends along uh, that won't and and then her little fan base but that doesn't include the bots so not quite sure how that's going to work out um so yeah but i'm sure that we're going to see pictures because it's going to be everywhere we know that um and she does it for clout it is lit to me it is the equivalent of playing a game cheating and then winning i don't know about you but that's something i might have done when i was a kid but now it's like if i win i want to know that i've won because i've won you know i've worked to win if i establish something or someone gives me recognition i want to know that i've done that but here's the thing with narcissists they don't actually care how they get it they just want that notoriety and that's exactly the same for her it's literally like she's cheating but she doesn't care and then she thinks she's winning but she's not how sad is that that you actually are not achieving anything you're having to buy your way in. You know, if we look at that or people have you know, said to me, you know, how does she, you know, get where she's going? She that's just it. She buys her way into everything. She's not achieving anything. She hasn't achieved a single thing. The only thing really that she has achieved is grifting her way to the top, sleeping with various men to elevate herself, using people to elevate herself and marrying one of the most at the time eligible bachelors in the UK which was Prince Harry so and then taking him away from so that yeah that's an achievement she's achieved that she's achieved that she's achieved taking Harry away from his family albeit that yes he's an adult and he's responsible but I know we know how narcissistic abuse is and I think that was what it was in the beginning um and it's still there but I think that was predominant she isolated him um, because the family knew what she was like. So that's what she's achieved, really. She hasn't achieved anything else. Her art, you know, she wouldn't have had um, her podcast if it wasn't for the fact that she was married to a member of the royal family. She wouldn't have had spot, uh, uh, Netflix. She wouldn't have had anything. Nothing. Because if that was the case, then she would have had it beforehand. 
This woman has been desperately trying to be famous, desperately, but really she's achieved all of this infamy. Because you know, it's not just she's famous, but she's infamous just because of the way she behaves and who she's married to and connected to. That's it. Wow, what an achievement. So yeah, so let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I'm sure you will, as always, <laughs> and I love reading them. So yeah, like I say, my next video is going to be talking about this court case with Harry um, and this leaked email that seems to be doing the rounds. I have my own thoughts and opinions on this that might not necessarily align with what other people have said. And I will be talking about that in my next video. But I think, yes, yeah, it's, it's let's let's break it down and see what you guys think. Um, so, yeah, in the meantime, have a great rest of the day. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up. I, so many of you watch the video, but that there's not the same likes. So either you're watching it and you really don't like it, which could be a thing. Um, but if you do, please try and click on the like button because it really, really does help. If you want to not, if the video is too long, then just fast forward the bits that you don't want to listen to, like the intro. Um, and but please fast forward to the end because then that counts as a view drop a comment because that uh some lovely subscriber again mentioned the fact that apparently if you comment the more comments a video gets the more youtube recognize that it's a worthy channel so that also helps the algorithm so even if it's just a you know a thumbs up or something you don't have to write anything just drop something in that comment box because that really really does help um, keep us channels going you know we need to keep these channels alive because you know we are the ones that hopefully are bringing the truth out there rather than because let's face it we can't rely on the media um well some of the media uh yeah so if you would like to treat me to a cuppa the link is in the description box below you can also find the little icon above the subscribe button if you would like to become a member where your name will appear on the member board and I do appreciate the fact that I am lapsed in getting these names up there I will get that done I promise um if you would like to send me something, there is a PO box. If you would like to email me, there is all everything, all the links in the description box below. So also I have decided that my other channel, because this is now TNT, and if you see the little, uh, the logo, it is about truth talking with psychology because, you know, I delve into things like that. So what I've done, what I've decided is that my other channel is going to be called Tea and Therapy because initially that was what I wanted this channel to be. It was about sitting down with a cup of tea um, and just talking about things that might be bothering. So everybody and helping people. So as much as I know, this channel also helps people, but that is going to be solely about all aspects of mental health however I will do what I was going to do here and that is bring in things that are maybe happening in the celebrity world however it is going to be Harry and Meghan free so don't go across there if you think I'm going to be talking about Harry and Meghan I am keeping that channel Harry and Meghan free zone I'll be talking about them here so tea and therapy my other one so if you haven't joined please go and join because again it will help me get my I've got over my thousand subscribers now but I need to get my viewing hours up um to four thousand and I think at the minute it's only in the hundreds so if you can help in any way that would be very very welcome um, so yeah so that's it I'm getting very excited my son is going to be home on Saturday I can't wait um I'm literally counting down the days and the hours um but yeah, so I will, and he's going to appear on the channel with me. He's told me that he wants to do that. So, well, not that he's got a choice. He's, I'm dragging him on. And yeah, so that's it. I'll stop waffling now. Um, I will see you in the next video. So as always, take care, stay safe. Um, I love you and I appreciate you. But most of all, I respect you. Mwah. Bye.